just uh, listening to some music here on uh, Thursday morning, which is actually my Friday because uh, we're going to we're going to uh, my nephew's wedding this weekend. This will be kind of fun. Um, and uh, Lord knows Scotty's a partier, right? So um, that's going to be fun. So um, just a, a few thoughts. Um, when I, I was listening to some videos, John Gorka and a group called Girly Man, that kind of funny name for a group. They're very good. And young people are really good. And this is the song I'm listening to now. Um, got me thinking about uh, the importance of togetherness and cooperation and love and things like that. So I'll turn the music down so we can so I can uh, we can hear here. But uh, you know, it really is. It's something uh, where we have to really concentrate on our family first and then build from there and you know that awareness is starting to really dawn on me that if you don't have your family taken care of you don't have anything else everything else falls apart so it's kind of like self-esteem it starts from yourself and then if you have a solid base of peace and confidence then it builds out from you but if you don't have that solid base of peace and confidence it doesn't build out so um, that's just something that really is starting to hit me really hard and that's it's good, you know, if, unless I have my act together, I really can't help anybody else. And, you know, Lord knows after 50, I'm still getting the act together a little bit. Um, so, um, just to some guidelines here, uh, uh, you know, I've been married for 18 years and, you know, always uh, looking at improving improving marriage. And um, um, just ran across some really interesting websites here on, on marriage. There's, there's actually something on the Internet that says 118 fun and easy marriage tips. I mean, imagine 118 marriage tips. Um, and they, it all makes really s a good sense. And it, it, the basis is starting with just asking questions and probing questions of each other so that you uh, totally understand that you're on the same page with your partner because you might think that you're on the same page, but you're not. So act like you're on the same team. That's number one. So especially when you're managing a teenager, that's going to be very, very important. Um, ask about her thoughts from uh, uh, from all kinds of different contexts, from church, from going out to eat, from uh, talking about sporting events, talk about the weather. Ask about her thoughts and her thoughts about you know. No matter if she says something that might be like, oh boy, that's interesting. You know, <laughs> I shouldn't be saying, oh, that's interesting. You know, but just listen. Say, well, uh, you know, um, not in a sarcastic way. Interesting, I guess what I'm saying, but. You know, just try to reinforce whatever feelings for her are real. And um, sometimes I tend to get sarcastic, which is not, not good for the marriage. Um, also, um, you know, ask each other questions uh, and deep probing questions when, you know, boy, I'm really interested in what you're saying. What about this or what about this? Sometimes I tend to overanalyze and do too much of that. I think, uh, as one friend of mine said, you know, maybe you're just trying too hard sometimes. Just the basic feedback, okay, keep it kind of basic. Um, uh, ask uh, what they have on their agenda for the day. You know, I do ask my wife, you know, um, she does home care, and I say, you know, who are your clients for today, and try to, you know, kick up that conversation into a friendly, cooperative type of mood. Um, uh, and, uh, you know, th so there are times for probing questions, and there are times for not. And that's, a, that's a matter of timing as well. Um, you know, assume that they're on your side, not against you. I think that's a really important thing. And su assuming that your wife is uh, on your side and not uh, against you. And certainly, when she says key words like, um, you know, uh, you're not listening to me or something, and then it's time to drop, drop the Walkman, drop everything, drop, get off the computer, and just go over by her and say, you know, I'm here for you. Um, sometimes what happens is that I'll say that, and then. Uh, you know, then, uh, oh, it's too late, too bad, it's too late. So that that's a, that's something we're working through right now. Uh, be a visionary in your relationship. Dream about your future and talk about it. So what are some future things we can do? Uh, dream about walking, taking long walks with her and um, listening to her feelings in her heart and her mind and what she's feeling about life and that kind of thing. Uh, be more passionate at home, not just at work. Bring your passion not your negativity to your home life too and of course you know to survive in the business world you need a lot of that pep and everything but bring some of that pep back with you too uh, be real with her don't play games with her you know just be real here's my feelings and I really 
here's what I think, and if you put your heart out there, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow. <coughs> first sneeze on YouTube. That's my first two sneezes on YouTube. Um, you build. You're always building up your partner. I think that's you know. Again, I'm always. I'm not an expert on marriage, but I'm learning after 18 years. I have some experience to share, but it's sort of that feeling that you're always building each other up. You're always uh, working toward a better understanding or sense of peace or conversation point or however you want to phrase it. Um, maybe I'm allergic to the cat. Cat? Kitty? No. <coughs> you know, I'm, I may be allergic to the cat. Um, so there we go. Um, but then, you know, um, there are times when you can overanalyze things, too, and that's something that I do. Sometimes I get on a train of thought, well, let's solve this problem now, let's do it, I want to solve it right now. And where she just says, no, I'm not ready to solve it, then I need to listen to those signals. Achoo! Wow. <coughs> wow. What am I allergic to? Um, be real with her. Um... You know, brush your teeth before talking to each other. You know, maybe that's one of the things that I take for granted. That, you know, that um, that I always have good breath. You know, I don't always have good breath, and uh, you know, that's not a joke. I mean, it really is. It's something maybe I should be washing my mouth out more often and that kind of thing. You know, those basic things can turn things around. So, <coughs> wow, five sneezes on YouTube. You know, this thing might go viral just because I'm sneezing through the whole thing. Um, you know, allergic to marriage, you know, that would be a terribly sarcastic title. But no, I wouldn't do that. Build a dream list, you know. Take a sheet of paper and build a list of things that you want to do together, like your bucket list, right? So, let's say you've always wanted to go to the Grand Canyon, you know, make that one of the bucket list items, or... You've always wanted to go parasailing, which I've done, by the way, which is kind of cool. Um, so, you know, build up those dreams. Um, I'll be back with part two on marriage in just a few moments.